one of us is that our core purpose for going out is to only look for garbage and put it in a rightful place in one hour and then we come back so that we can be able to start together and finish together and it is important to know that unity is strengthened so do not stray away from the group which you're going to be allocated is that one clear yes therefore i want us to allocate ourselves several groups which you will be told by mr mwangangi in a couple of minutes so just stay where you are, we finish what we are doing and then we will be able to give you the various groups because the staff members will stand and then you will be behind the staff members. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you. And so I'm so privileged this morning to have a group of uh, my dear comrades that uh, we are going to go outside there and uh, to sacrifice before we sacrifice some of papers in that town. And so I'm requesting each and every one of you in this group we cooperate, we have one voice, and we have one hand, so that we make Murana clean. And so, you know that this institution has been neglected for a long time in the society, is it? And so this uh, exercise is not only important, but vital at this moment. Because we really need the community to understand that we are here as people who are peacekeeping. At the end of the day, we really need this environment to be clean. To be clean. The second thing I don't know if you are going to criticize me after the end of this exercise is that I hear that uh, uh, people make places but places don't make people. I don't know how true it is because we have Dr. here who is also in philosophy. She might criticize but before she criticizes me, let me say one thing. That this exercise that we are taking today is just the opening of many exercises that should come even in future for this institution. And as we look even outside our ground, which uh, soon will be our ground formally, is that it, is, uh, it has a lot of garbage, is it? And so I'm requesting various, uh, various uh, groups like, and societies, like the Christian Union, the uh, Christian in Action, and all of these SDA, to be coming with a such program so that we, we make our environment a better place to save. I want, before I do anything, to recognize the presence of my council members. I have my vice president, that is Vincent, clap for him. And I have my finance minister, the tallest man in the, at the back, that is uh, <laughs> I have my secretary general, I cannot, uh, he's here. <laughs> I have the external affairs minister, that is Taya. Taya is up there. It will no longer be uh, a matter of pushing, because I, I understand we are very united people, and we are going to go there, exercise our noble duty. Then at the end of the day, I think it will be no way at all. So, <laughs> you guys, can we cooperate in this and uh, finish this exercise amicably that one hour? So, this time I want to the director. Yes, we take this opportunity to appreciate each one of us for coming out to conserve the environment and specifically because we know what we do in our environment affects us tomorrow. So we take this opportunity to also give back to our community by uh, cleaning up today to mark the fact that we value the environment. And therefore, before we start, we like putting God first. I want to invite Mr. Kehio to open with our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us, O oh Lord. We know our world is a fragile place, yet it is our home. We pray today that you're going to give us wisdom as we care and cultivate it, as we even manage it. <coughs> we're going to be with us, my Father. And this becomes a spirit for each of us to care for the environment they are in, O oh Lord. We are praying, O oh my Father, that we shall be in us to care for environment now and uh, and, and many days to come, Lord. We are thankful even for this opportunity to have our Lord this way. And it's going to be a month massive as we go along. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now you can give remarks for only two minutes. Oh, yes. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Madam. Dr. Tan. First, I want to recognize the presence of our Vice Chancellor, that is Professor Dixon Eric, our co partners in this exercise, that is Amika, and uh, the staff starting with the HODs and DEANS, that is likes of uh, Dr. Dr. Anjala and the Maria, they are with us. Uh, this exercise is going to link us with the outside community. 
and I want to appreciate a lot the DVC, also a BP, that is uh, Professor Mashogu. Sorry for I, I have not identified because of the white shirt. Uh, so I'm um, recognizing the, also the presence of our Dean of Students. I know many students may be. Do you know him? No. You know him? No. I think you should just say, yeah, that is our Dean of Students. That is uh, Dr. Warren and I. So I'm so grateful that uh, this management has considered uh, the institution linking outside community. And it is linking through helping the community and also helping ourselves. And before I close, I want also to say I'm very grateful to the Vice Chancellor. I saw the other day a very good memo. Did you see it? Advertising something about uh, encouraging innovation and such, is it? And so I'm encouraging all the students, you go, you support our Vice Chancellor in that exercise, so that we get that platinum, that gold. Was bros there? Yeah, because I was guessing. So <laughs> I'm hoping that all these things, as students, we are going to have a membrane of, 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 of opportunity to get them. I want to have a final word to Dr. Caroline. I'm very grateful for your wonderful work, for what you have organized, and we are hoping that this time, because the shots were very few for my students, like 180, and I'm hoping next time it will be like 500, so that the number increases. Is it? Is it comrade? So that uh, we don't leave the others. I know there are classes, but this is also noble. So that we go outside a good number, and we exercise the duty of cleaning the outside, uh, the outside uh, university environment, and also inside. So I'm so grateful. May God bless you. And uh, I'm just requesting each and every one of you to cooperate in this exercise so that at the end of the day, the community appreciates and also the institution uh, gains something. So I'm very grateful. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, if you notice the t-shirt you're wearing is having our logo and it's having Amica. So today we are privileged to be in partnership in marking the environment with the uh, Amica group. And therefore, we want to give them an opportunity to introduce those who are here and one of them to give us brief remarks for about two minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm James K. Gachau. I'm the general manager of America Savings and Credit. And uh, before I say anything, allow me to introduce uh, the America team. This is the team which is uh, available today. And uh, I'll give them two seconds to say their name and what they do in Amica. I'm John Karaoke Mwangi, relationship manager in charge of institutional banking. I'm happy to be with you today. Good morning, comrades. Good morning. Anthony Nyaga. I am a relationship manager back at Amica in charge of insurance. Good morning, everyone. My name is Peter Wande. I'm a business relationship officer. So, Good morning to you. Morning. My name is Anne Baboni. I am customer representative at the business. Thank you. That is the thing. Um, I think uh, most of us have already said what the purpose of today's exercise is. And I don't want to repeat most of what they have said. But uh, to re-emphasize the fact uh, that um, we need to interact with the community. In the past, we've been referred to, this is the universities, have been referred to as the ivory tower. Ivory tower means that uh, you have nothing to do with your surrounding, you have nothing to do with people around you. Yours is that to study and theorize and, and so on. But um, this exercise is important because it gives us, it offers us an opportunity to interact with the community around us so that we are recognized, so that we are noticed. In addition to uh, contributing to a clean environment, it may be a one-time exercise, probably once a year, for purposes of fulfilling uh, certain requirements. 
or certain promises that we made to the government. But symbolic as it may be, it is extremely important because it creates a, an opportunity to create awareness so that uh, we remind ourselves of the importance of having a clean environment. And I believe as students and some of us here, we are aware of why we need to have a clean environment. We need a clean environment to avoid pollution so that uh, our air is clean, our water is clean, to avoid diseases. In fact, we are advised that a clean environment which then encourages or discourages uh, diseases reduces poverty. Because if you are healthy, then you are able to fend for yourself. You are able to create, to improve the economy and create wealth. So that is one of the importance of, of, of a clean environment. So we are, we are wearing uh, t-shirts from the university, the university logo, and Amica. And I realized that there are three, there are three, there are three R's on the t-shirt. They are important. The three R's, reduce, Say it. Reduce, reduce, use, and recycle. We want you to implement that. We believe today is an exercise to interact with the community around us. Remember, we need to remember that three R's always. So that uh, as one of us has said, if you have a bottle of water, after finishing a plastic uh, bottle of water, after finishing uh, drinking the water, don't just throw it away like that anywhere, and you don't realize what you are doing to the environment. So uh, finally, I want to thank the uh, Amica for being involved in uh, this exercise with us, participating with us. Um, we want and we request that we continue uh, to work together. I am informed that uh, uh, Amica has reserved 15 positions for attachment for our students and we want to believe that even after attachment, if you identify, thank you, if you identify the 15 uh, students, if you realize that they work well, please take them in when they finish their uh, doing their, their course. Isn't it? I think you need to... An, another applause. Yes. So I think with that then, uh, we will... Uh, the director will uh, take over and uh, guide us on how to go about this exercise. Thank you very much. Thank you. We want to divide ourselves into seven groups and therefore I'll read out names of seven staff members who are going to line up where you can see the tape. This is our first corporate social responsibility and that is why we are marking it with a tape so that we can be allowed to go out. Is that one clear? Yes. Uh, so that we are going to have seven staff members who are going to work with us. They will give us the gloves so that we can be able to be appropriately fit to collect what we need to collect out there. Therefore, after I read the names, they will go behind there and then we shall all follow behind the VC and the management team as he goes to open for us. And once he opens for us, we don't rush out. We go behind at least one staff member because they will come here and then they will walk us you see them so that we identify them. Roughly we are about a hundred of us. That means that in the seven groups I'll expect to see 12 of us. 
Is that one clear? We, we said that uh, and therefore we want to be very sure that no one will wonder where are my fellows. You know the staff member you are under, you know your group members. That way we will do a fair job in that one hour and then come back here. When we come back here we shall come to close together and when people work they take something small, isn't it? Therefore we shall come back together so that we can be able to wash our hands together and take something small so that we can be able to thank God he's gone out with us and come back with us. Good morning. Pauline, where are you? Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And then Mary, my colleague, we work together. Hi. Hi. Then we have Dr. Wanjala, that is my COD, I'm also a lecturer, don't forget. <laughs> so my, my, even my department is supporting me, I feel so privileged. Then we have Emma, she used to work with me, but she moved on, but we still link. We, we always go for her. Bona Vice Chancellor, you can hear me. <laughs> Why don't you say good morning? <laughs> good morning. Yes. And then we, yes, those are my seven staff members who are going to go and line up near there where the Vice Chancellor is coming to cut the thing. Therefore, make sure that 12 of you go behind each one of them so that we can go in our 12 groups, in our seven groups, so that we go up to Marikiti and we come back in that one hour. Is that one clear? 